Hello lovely butterflies, welcome to this channel on Monday, week 155. I've got my journal ready, I already took out one stamp and some ink and I want to start stamping with this one to get me going. So I have no idea where the spread is going. All I know is what it is I want to express and that is what I'm going to try to get on paper. So I grabbed my cobalt teal hue and then I want to go in with some pinks. I think this is going to make Marit very happy. So I got the baby pink and the royal fuchsia in the Americana because these do not exist in the fluid acrylics. And yes, I could mix those myself with some um, reds and white, but I want this to be a quickie. Color two. Feels a bit like painting with bubble gum. <clears throat> the color and the texture are making it feel that way. Let's shift this up a little so that you can see the bottom of my journal as well. There we go. This is already <clears throat> very soft, yet I want to make it even softer. Going in with a wide chalky finish. I still have some of these, I still have some of this, so I'm going to use it. Let's mix up some of this, which is already a very soft pink and I'm going to make it even softer. Sponge, 
honeycomb stencil. to add some splatters. That's all it takes. Derwent Intense Pencil. And I want to add a little bit more color here and there. Going in with my, my Sinuosity stamp, well, one of my Sinuosity stamps. And I'm going to use a Peacock Feather Distress Ink, but in a very soft way. So let's do some ghost stamping here, because I wanted to keep it as soft as the background and not that it jumps out. I took out two more stencils, my Milt Lavender Distress Ink. Let's take the black one as well, because hey, we need to create a little depth and contrast here. Let's live dangerously. Um, yeah, let's do it with this one. So, Black Distress Ink, Warp Grid Stencil, And I don't think that this is going to be intense enough. No, I'm going to do it with just a hint of black paint. Sponge again.
So like I said, milled lavender and I took my Tuna Moon and Bag stencil and I want to do a couple of these circles. Just very lightly. Let's see if I can pull it off, but let's put this one a bit flatter first. Yes. So purple blending tool and it's a pretty new one so I should not have too much of a darker purple on there which is always the danger when you're going in with light colors So even for a light color, this is way too intense compared to what I had in mind, but that's the good thing about Distress Inks. I'm just going to go in with a baby wipe and I'm going to soften this down. Okay, there's a couple of things that I want to push back. So I'm going back in with wide. And yet again, a sponge. Okay, I also took out a couple of stickers that I want to use. Now this is a miscut, so I keep these for myself because I don't like to throw away things. Don't, don't, don't. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay, one, two, and three, but that is not going to be enough. So let's add this one as well. Can you say sticky? I wanted sticky stickers, but these are like super sticky. Now let's give these a bit of an edge.
This is where Helen would say, get a grip woman. I'm trying. There we go. So because of all the ripping, this is lifting off, so I'm going to help it to stick down. There we go. Let's add some stamping. Some kind of background text, which is not really text, but um, and let's do our kettle of coffee. I already used the sticker that I do want to use, so I'm going to peel it off from another one. And of course I need a third one because I cannot leave it hanging like that, which is two. So I could go with one of the small ones. No, it needs a bigger one. I 
Why is that a big one? Why am I cutting it so small? There we go. This one down here. Oh, come on. considering if I should add some stitching right here and I think I should so I'm going to do that and then for my wording today I'm going with talk to yourself like to someone you love over the page let's do that first If I could do this straight, wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, I need to get a closer look. these stickers and that is something that was really important to me when I came up with them is that I wanted them to be able to take Copic markers as well as paint as distress ink as whatever and they do so let's see if I have the right colors here yeah that's a very softish blue and a very softish pink. Give them some shading. And some... Well, you know what? No, no doodling this time. Let's see if I can live with that.
And this was a leftover from another project, so I'm going to add that one there as well. So this way I didn't do a full spread, but yet it's still looking not as plain white. And my fingers are covered in black distress ink. Okay, while I give my brain some time to think, I'm going to add some more of that black paint over here, just like I did on this side. One last thing. I know I said I was done, but when taking photos, I realized I forgot this one. <clears throat> and I do not want to leave this one out, so... Now, seriously, I'm walking away. Bye. So I still want to keep this softer than that side, so I need to soften this down again, just a tiny bit. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked today's video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking on my face while the photo of it at the end of this video. I will see you back here next time, which will be next Monday. Till then, have a good one. Butterfly kisses.